In this video, we'll be talking about how to view a property and ask the right questions. You do not want any surprises later down the road. So first and foremost, it is so important to do your homework and see what else is available in your area. You wanna make sure you're getting a good rate on your lease and you wanna make sure you have a quality standard checklist while checking out some spaces. Additionally, there are some crucial questions that you must ask the property manager and get some answers on right away. Those questions are, how much are the utilities? Are there any other hidden costs? Does the lease rate include the common area? How are the neighbors and what is their business? Are there any sound or noise concerns? Does it leak when it rains? Is there a pest problem? Have there been any recent break-ins or safety concerns? What are the insurance and license requirements? Is there security? And how much power can the building handle? And very importantly, is there air conditioning? Attached to this video, there will be a document for you to print out and bring along with you so you can make sure you do not miss a question. When you are checking out a space, make sure you take tons of pictures, get full coverage, make sure you check every inch and corner of the space for potential problems. You want to locate all the power outlets and make sure they are all conveniently located and start getting some ideas flowing. You know, start visualizing what the space can look like when it's all said and done. You know, backdrop there, couch there, table there visualize and actually make sure that the space can work for what you have in mind. And most of all, trust your intuition. If something doesn't feel right about the space, do not sign the lease. That is a contract agreement that you must stick to. So you don't wanna find yourself in a situation where you are trying to get out of it later. You should be able to know when you have found the right space. Again, you're gonna be very excited, but make sure you do your homework and that you're getting a good deal on your rent. In my opinion, and depending on what city you are in, anywhere from $1 to $2 per square foot per month is a pretty good deal. If you are on a ground level retail space, that rate will be much, much more, which is why I actually recommend getting a small unit a part of a bigger building. The studio that we're in right now is actually on the eighth floor of a 13th floor building. So this building has many units available. So the rate is a lot cheaper. And keep in mind, often what they advertise isn't the lowest that they're willing to go. It's always worth a shot just asking for a lower rate and if they say no it's all good but oftentimes depending on the demand and the current state of the market they'll actually be able to knock a couple hundred bucks off of your rent again it's always worth just asking so after you agree to a monthly rent that both sides are happy with make sure you receive your lease agreement and read through it very thoroughly if possible hire an attorney to actually read through it with you and do not be afraid to speak up and bring up any red flags or anything that you have questions about a lease agreement puts you in a contract obligation so do not take it lightly and if all looks good congratulations you have found yourself your very first studio 